guys, and welcome back to Pink's Plays Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we went through some horrifying experiences. And we foiled uh, Team Aqua's plans to uh, steal the Devon goods. So now we're on route... Um, yeah, Dyer hit there. We are on route... The, uh, oh, that's a trainer fix. Oh! I was actually... I was gonna like skip to catching this Pokemon, but this is one of the Pokemon I'm gonna add to my team. And I just so happen to run to the first the first wild Pokemon on this route. So uh, this is a Electrike. It's an electric type. And uh, I'll go and start off with a fake out. Please don't faint it. Please don't faint, please don't faint. Whew, good. Alright. And that's happened. I don't want to risk anything because it's you know it's fairly weak Pokemon. I could accidentally take it out, so I'll just throw a great ball at him. It is half half health down, so it's not like it's you know not weakened at all. Ah, oh. come on! And it's like I said, it's very weak, so it's not gonna be able to do much either. So I'll just uh, I'll lower its accuracy for now. It's gonna use. Howl, which raises its attack. And I'll just use Flash again just to, you know, have some insurance on it. Ooh. Alright, um. Maybe. Let's see. Um. Uh. You know, Bide might work actually. It doubles the amount of damage I take, and since a guy can't do much. See, that's four damage right there. That's not gonna do much. I mean, I'll, I'll throw in eight damage at him. And he missed the second time. So, you know, it's eight damage in total that I'll unleash on him. Alright, yeah, I can't do any more attacks on him because, you know, he's pretty close to fainting. I don't think anything. That's a work, so I'll just throw a Pokeball and hope this works out. Come on, one, two, three. Yes! I got him. Alright, so now we have a new addition to our team, which is Electric. Electric, the lightning Pokemon. It generates electricity using friction from the atmosphere and seasoned with especially arid air. Its entire body blazes with violent showers of sparks. And, uh,. Well, now that he's on our team, I'm going to do a little uh, stat profile for him while I decide a nickname. So, uh, there you go. Electric, the lightning Pokemon. It's an electric type Pokemon with good special attack and speed. It's weak in all the other fields, but, you know, it's a good sweeper. It's get in, get out quickly, and take out the Pokemon without much damage done to itself. Its height is 2 feet, weight 33.5 pounds. Its abilities are static and lightning rod, and its hidden ability is minus. And its gender ratio is 50% male and 50% female. Alright, I think I know I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him after my recently passed uh, dog, Gracie. She was um, about 7 years old and she got let out accidentally and she was gone for a couple days and then she was found dead on a neighbor's yard. It was really sad. It was actually not that long, just a handful of months ago that happened. So yeah, anyways, um, enough about the sad stories. We have Gracie now on our team. And, uh, yeah. So I'll, uh, heal real quick, cause I might as well, cause we need to heal him so he can use him in battle. And, uh, let's go up here. Already fought those guys. Uh, let's see, I'll put Gracie out on front just so, you know, he, he can get some experience. <laughs> My dog was a girl even though uh, the Pokemon's a boy. Oh well. Youngster Timmy would like to battle. Oh yeah, the annoying Aron. I'll throw a Thunder Wave at him. <coughs> and, uh,. I want to switch out to Need for Speed. I'm 
And that was a one hit KO, wow. Alright, now it's gonna send out an electric. Just a level higher, hmm. I'll try for it. No, it's defense dramatically. One more should do. And we took him out. All by ourselves. That's awesome. And, uh... Sweet, we got a Chesto Berry, which we can use to heal. Paralysis. And we'll give Gracie a little, uh, Warm Berry to hold. And we'll use this potion on him so he can... No, we don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. And, uh, let's go up here and see what's going on. And oh, that's me. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, now we are going to battle May. When I was little, I had a lot of trouble with this battle. And <clears throat> considering how I lost to the second gym leader, it's probably a battle I'm gonna probably lose to her again too. But I'll, you know, I'll give it my best. Whoa, whoa! I'm down to one health there. Yeah, I threw a Thunder Wave in. Wow, that was close. Okay, so, uh... Thankfully we got that Orange Berry, but I'm still gonna switch up, uh, for a different Pokemon because... Well... <laughs> let's see right there, that's... <sighs> kinda scary that that happened. And it's got down to one health, but that Orange Berry, and we got very lucky with, you know, just s saving it by one HP. So I'll go and throw a fake out to, you know, stun the annoying Wingle. Turn it to Swift. And we criticaled it and took it out. Awesome. And now we're going to be fighting a Slugma. Again, I'll be I'll, I'm gonna be switching Gracie in and out a lot until he, you know, gets up to at least like a level 18 or something, you know, just so we can hold his own in battle. There's a Slugma, level 18, and uh, I'll just throw a Water Gun because I mean that's gonna, of course, deal with one HP left. Crap. Need for Speed's gonna fall asleep here. Because of the yawn effect. I didn't want to risk a. Uh, um. Lost my train of thought. I didn't want to risk. Oh, we can switch out. So the. If you switch out after a Pokemon is hit by yawn, the yawn effect will be, you know, taken out of consideration. Like it won't be in effect anymore. And this is a Grovile level 20. And so I'll switch into Carlos. And we'll start off with a fake out. Oh yeah, like I uh, said, like uh, an episode or two ago, if the Pokemon that you're fighting is faster and uses Quick Attack, it'll move first. So it's still based on speed, but fake out will go first if uh, <clears throat> there's no other speed moves in effect. So I'll start off using a Nature Power, and oh, that did a lot of damage. And it looks like yes, we won. Awesome. I was afraid we were gonna lose there, but thankfully we did not. We got lucky and we didn't even lose a single Pokemon. Then we defeated Trainer May. And we got 1,200 Poke Dollars for it all. I haven't really been busy training and I haven't even really grinded at all so far. Honestly, I mean, I've been. I haven't, like, been, like, purposely, like, fighting wild Pokemon or anything of the like. Just kind of odd. I figured, you know, I'd have to grind some to be, you know, be get, still be able to keep up with enemy Pokemon. And, oh, we run into another one of these. Let's quickly fast forward through this. Actually, I'll just run away. And, uh, I think these are two trainers I can fight. And, you know, my Pokemon are health, healthy enough that I can fight them. And I can switch out, because that, 
again, I don't want Gracie to faint because I want her um, to get <laughs> some experience and level up. So I'll. Uh, what do I want to do? And I'll switch into Carlos. Shift. And I'll have. Need for speed, use much on my track, which will be super effective. And they'll take him out in one hit, which is awesome. I mean, they're low level Pokemon compared to what we have. So, I mean, it's not like they're. You know, that much of a threat. So we took out Voltor, but now all that's left is the other person's Pokemon, which we will be able to take out with not much trouble. Because it'll be two, two to one. Oh, I'm on, I'm on grass, and since I'm using a major power, uh, it uses stun spore instead of swift, which I've been usually using. Nuzleaf. Uh, that is the evolved form of C dot, which we saw before. I'll be doing the absorb and tackle. This is my best path right now. And the next turn we should take it out and be done with this battle. Awesome, alright. And uh, Carlos screwed to level 22. I actually noticed it this time. <laughs> and uh, we got 1288 Pokey Dollars. And uh, Collector Edwin wants to register us in the Pokey now, so like I've been saying every time that happens, uh, we can rebattle him if we want to. I'll do another electric. I'll just get out of here. And oh, we run into a mining, which we saw before. It's a uh, like I said, it's a, it's not a good Pokemon, especially by itself. It's it's made for double battles, really. It's in single battles, it's pretty much just a. A turn user, like if you want to throw a Pokemon out to heal a stronger Pokemon. Oh wow, I'm, just, I'm not even doing much damage. So I'm just gonna. can't escape. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, Gracie! No! Well, now I can get away safe left from my Pokemon thing. Uh, I'll cut out to healing and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, and we're back. Uh, sorry about that, I just wanted to heal real quick. And, uh, Everyone's healed back up now, and we'll go and quickly do this battle before we end this part. We're going against the Psychic Edward and Triathlete Alyssa. An Abra and a Magnemite, alright. Uh, can't remember this. Right, okay, yeah, Magnemite doesn't... I, bu I believe in the later generations, Magnemite... Uh, can have the ability to levitate, which it allows him to not be hurt by ground type moves. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Clear my throat all. It'll be toned down in the editing. <laughs> but, anyways, um, I, I leveled up a little bit on Need for Speed because I ran into a handful of wild Pokemon and, and I just wanted to KO the lot and you know, got to level up in there. So anyways, now we beat them. Uh, I think I'll finish going through this route because we're almost to the end of this route here. And uh, we are in Mauville City. And where the third gym is going to be located at. And we'll see what's going on here. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.